can't believe your dad paid for a private plane. That's pretty much his only form of parenting. I guess I'll take it. Well, thank you, you Mr. Mr. Matthews. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, hey, JV. Didn't they tell you? Mewblood's gotta earn a seat. Oh, I, I thought that I could... No, I'm 100% messing with you. <laughs> you want some fruit by the foot? I've got, like, a mile of it. <laughs> hey, 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 not so fast, girls. Abby, for your ears. Not all about mine. Just get out of here. All right, hustle up. It's gonna be a long flight. This is your captain. Our flight plan to Seattle has us going a little bit hey. farther north than expected. You okay? We're gonna try to avoid a storm system that's coming in. Should have good news at the Remember when you came to Hilton Head with us in second grade? And you cried the whole flight. Here. Swipe these from my mom's medicine cabinet. Valium. She got like a never ending supply, so I doubt she'll even notice. I know. I'm basically the best. And hair. It's a good luck charm. No, nothing can touch you.
Serious? You brought us here? Looks that way. Why? It doesn't concern you. Jesus Christ, I know that you're messed up right now, but it doesn't give you a free pass to be a dick all the time. We're supposed to be a team. <laughs> yeah, right, a team. Hmm? Do you even know why people call me Flex? Hmm? In seventh grade, I had surgery on my back, spinal fusion or something, I, I, I don't know. It sucked. When I got back to school, Bobby Farley he saw my scar in the locker room. He told everybody that I had to get one of my ribs removed so that I could be flexible enough to, you know, suck my own dick. You fucking psycho! There's a ring, okay? I didn't think about it before when you know buried him, but it was my great grandfather's. can't do it. Jesus, it's just a ring. Let it go. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you don't fucking get it. I have to bring something back. I have to. For Javi.
Which hand? Uh, uh, right. So, can you suck your own dick? I wish. <laughs> He was such a shit dad. He didn't even like me. <sighs> Sorry. That's cool. Maybe just slow down a little bit. Tickles. I'm obviously just gonna keep screwing this up. So whatever, maybe we should just head back. Come on. Who hasn't rolled over a broken tray table while making out in a blood-stained death trap? <laughs> <laughs> You're a really good kisser, you know? I don't want to go back yet. Will you? number would I be? What? How many guys have you been with? Are you serious right now? I just want to know if... If what? If I'm a slut? <laughs> Unfucking believable <laughs> Now, Jason Russo screwed half the girls on the volleyball team. What does that make him? He's a dude, and... He's not the one with his hand on my... No, you do not get to judge me, dude. The 50s called, they want your dumbass attitude back. Welcome to 1996. Our vaginas have, like, monologues now. And newsflash, girls like to do stuff, too. You don't have a monopoly on that. Like, why is it your job to want to do it and my job to say no? Why do you get all the wants and needs? Who made up that stupid fucking rule anyway? Okay, okay, Jesus. I'm sorry. 
You gonna tell me how many girls you've been with? No. Um... Seriously? Why the fuck not? Well? Because it's none, okay? I've never done it before. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've I've only been with two guys. Levi Hauser sophomore year, and this guy I met at a show last summer. And he was older, and I was kind of fucked up, and it <laughs> wasn't great. So now you know, okay? Did you really have to tell everyone? I mean, how could I not? Shauna, we have the chance to get you and the baby out of here. That's all that matters. It's, it's not really the time to be keeping secrets. Please, don't do this. Thanks for worrying about me, Coach, but this is my purpose. Just you and me now, Leonard.
Is that smoke? You're lucky. You know. I think shit is gonna get a lot worse out here. You're already dead, so... No way to make everyone jealous of you one last time. I'm sorry for what we did. Who knows? Meeting you could be the reason why we survived the winter, so... Thanks. Rest in peace, Jackie. What do we do? Nothing. 
It's too late. <laughs> Been here for years. 